Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, the built-in script called uh, Split Custom Field Contacts. In Jira, there is a concept of uh, field context and it is nothing but uh, a way to have different values in your, uh, in your select list, for example, for different projects. So maybe you have, let us say, a custom field called automation status and when you want to create a custom field of type let us say a select list wherever you have a list uh, you can of course uh, have one list of uh, maybe 10 items and uh, all the projects that are using that particular field will have those uh, 10 items displayed but in Jira there is a concept of uh, a custom field context and using your context you can actually select uh, maybe one or two projects using the same field but the values the options that will appear in the custom field can be different so right now in this particular example i have a, I have a field called automation status and uh, i'm using three projects where you will find this uh, field of course the field need to be also added on the screen but uh, let us say the field is already being used and uh, in all the three projects the options that will be displayed under that particular field will be automatic and uh, manual now let us say there is a requirement in feature that uh, the android development project needs to have maybe one more item one more option one more value in this particular field so what you can do you can always uh, create a new context and then you can uh, manually create uh, these options which will work totally fine but for the issues where this particular uh, uh, field is already populated for uh, android development project those values will be lost uh, I mean those values will be displayed on the issue view screen but the moment you start editing those issues you will lose your old values so you can always create a new context for this project or maybe for uh, also the issue type but uh, you need to also copy those values so there are different ways of uh, copying values you can always use uh, you can first create the context, uh, context and then you can probably use bulk copy or uh, maybe you can do some bulk modification but uh, there, is, there is an easier way of doing it. You can actually use this uh, built-in script to split this context into maybe uh, two different parts. Maybe you want to separate your Android development project uh, with its own context and the script will also copy the values for you. Uh, so you will preserve your data. So let us see how this uh, built-in script will work. So I'll uh, go inside the built-in script under my uh, script runner built-in script section. So on top you need to select your custom field context which is nothing but your custom field uh, configuration scheme. So my current custom field is uh, automation status. So I just have one context. So I'll probably find my automation status here so this is my uh, automation status custom field it is right now using just one uh, configuration so that is why we can just see one and now you can see here that this particular context is using uh, three projects but I want to separate my Android development so I can select it and I can also select maybe uh, uh, all of them or I can just leave uh, this particular field blank so this context will be created for all the issue types and I want to name this context uh, of course I need to give a, give a name so I'll probably add something like Android context and then I can uh, first click on the preview button so that uh, I can um, see the result so right now there is no issue that is using this particular field but that is not the point the point here that i want to uh, make that i'm trying to show you is how we can run this particular uh, script and split the context so let us run this and uh, we'll go back uh, to the custom field uh, configuration and if i do a refresh let us see if uh, there is any change so immediately you can see here that uh, we have this uh, new Android context 
created and it has all also copied the options for you and this will also of course be applicable when you have your issues using these uh, these uh, fields and uh, this can be really really useful in case you are trying to split the uh, context so i hope this uh, video was useful thank you very much